Hello and welcome to some SEK boys basketball. Tonight we have the Chinook Blue Comets playing the Purple Tornadoes. Our starters for Chinook is Seems, Caden Seamster, Rhett Smith, Jordan Duncan, and Lars Kester. And, and uh, Elliot Stevenson. Now we have our starters for uh, the Purple Tornadoes. Oh. We have number two and number three, Jazz and Jam Logan. Jay Corner, Garrett Bannister, and Griffin Adamson. So, what are you expecting to see tonight? So, Griffin Adamson is 6'7", Bryson. 6'7". Chanute has the height. I mean, not Chanute. Pardon me. Coffeyville obviously has a height. As you see on tip-off, he's going against one of our tallest players, Caden Seamster. Caden Seamster stands at 6'2". Elliot Stevenson stands also at 6'2". Here we go with tip-off. And... Coffeeville wins the tip-off. Chanute coming out in man-to-man -man coverage. Big number 33 there at the top. Larson playing defense over there on number two, not letting him go anywhere. Logan now with the ball. Now, Bryson, I don't know if you watched the Coffeeville and Chanute game last year, the Chanute games, Coffeeville and Chanute games last year. Griffin and Caden, are, are always are always on each other. It's been a big, I would, I would like to say it's a big rivalry between the two. Let's just, oh, I hope we can see a good night mm -hmm. from both teams and both of those players. I think Griffin will be a key player to this. Logan misses the three. To this Coffeyville offense and defense, Bryson. Elliott with the ball at the top of the key. You got people moving in and out of the paint. Trying to get something going. A screen set for Caden Seamster. And we have now, Rhett being guarded by Griffin. Now, Bryson, we've seen a lot of threes from Jordan Duncan. Speak of the devil. We've seen a lot of threes from Jordan Duncan. Now, do you think that Coffeyville will have that locked down? During warm-ups, ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Duncan was warming up from the logo. And he went like nine for 10. From the logo. Now, he's been warming up this jump shot from when they started warm-ups to now. Let's hope that we can see some early threes from them. Mm -hmm. big a big deal for Coffeyville will be to lock down Jordan Duncan right there. The stolen ball by Seamster. He gets the pass, goes into the paint strong, kind of knocks it down. Seamster gets the first bucket of the night for either squad. Great pass to Caden right there. Taking the contact, going up, easy lay. And one great thing about this team is Rhett's defense right there. He's already gotten a steal and a block tonight. Now, and the shot is missed. Rhett's defense from last game, even though Chanute did lose, did come to a fall, Rhett's defense that game was perfect, pitch perfect. It was so it there was, he is it was again really good defense block. by Rhett. And Elliott misses the layup. Pretty good defense. He kind of mishandled the pass, couldn't get it up as quick as he wanted. Now, Griffin will be a big name that we bring up tonight. The 6'7", the 6'7", senior, I think he will be getting most of these rebounds. Let's hope Chanute can end up boxing him out and getting these rebounds. Mm -hmm. Little spin move by Griffin, kicks it to the corner. The three is up and missed. Seems to comes down with it. Rhett Smith has it, moves it to Duncan in the corner. Duncan doesn't want the shot. Seamster in the corner, puts up the three, off the back of the rim, and now it is moving in Coffeyville's favor. Logan with the ball, throws it down into the paint to number 15, he misses. Rhett is there to come down with the board, moving the ball up the court, gets it to Jordan. Ball is being moved very well here. Can't quite see. Duncan had it, passes, gets it into the paint. Seamster for three once again. Misses that. 
I mean, Rhett's just always there. He's fighting for rebounds every time, up and down the court, offense, defense. Logan shoots the mid-range jumper, misses. Great contest there by Rhett again. It was great. It was a great jump shot right there. A little, I wouldn't say it was an easy shot, a pretty normal shot right there. Those are the shots that you need to knock down, especially in this early game right here. Chanute's leading by 2-0. These are, these are the shots that you need to be knocking down. Jordan Duncan receives it. And I, I'm, I'd be shocked if they don't have someone blanketing him the whole time, not letting him get any shots off. Elliott with the ball, moves to his left. Seamster mishandles the pass, grabs it, makes the defender jump, and goes up with the left hand, misses. That's a big, you don't want to be missing those. Not, not at all, Bryson. It was a great pump fake right there, making the defender jump, going around him. You just got to make those layups. And number two, Jazz Logan knocks down the shot, plus one, he's heading to the line. Xavier Logan here. Um, I mean, I remember playing him in middle school. In eighth grade. And he was in, he's so athletic. Very extremely quick. Good at, at, extremely good at basketball. I mean, I, I think he was dunking in eighth grade. That's, that's all I'll tell you. And the ball is saved by Griffin off of Rhett's chest. And Griffin drops that, clears the defender, and gets the two points. Ball. Ball was saved by Griffin, throwing it back in. Goes off Red's chest, goes to the Coffeyville player. He passes right back down to Griffin. Griffin, the ball was a little too low, but Griffin still put the ball up, a little layup for Coffeyville. Seems it doesn't opt to take that three. He's trying to move Griffin out of the way, but he steps on the line. Now it is back in the hands of Coffeyville. Logan moves it to Logan. A lot of screens being set here for Coffeyville. At the top of the key, number 15 lets it fly. Front rim, who other than Rhett Smith to grab the board. Beautiful pass by Rhett. Absolute bullet. Elliott makes a move into the paint. Makes another move into the paint. Gets fouled, and he's heading to the line. Great little... Great little drive right there by Elliott. Elliott was going to drive in. He faked. He faked going back out, going right past 32. Three, de three de defensive Coffeyville players closed in on him, and he drove. And he drove. Blah. So the ref actually foul. called that on the floor. So it's going to stay with Chanu, but on the baseline. Elliott has the ball back in his hands. Looks like they want to capitalize on that mismatch a little there. Elliott definitely has the speed on him. Larson backing down the smaller defender gets fouled. On the baseline again here. That's Jamarian Logan's first. Tries to get in the seamster. Bounces off of his hands, or bounces off of the defender's hands and goes right back out of bounds. Finds Seamster at the top. Couldn't find the actual play they wanted to get it to. Rhett with it with a much taller defender on him. They're trying to do this little bully ball strategy with Larson, and right there it worked. See, Larson has the obvious size advantage on Logan, and if they're able to capitalize that on all night, then we will be sitting pretty. It was a great play going around the defender. Griffin was sort of closing in it and trying to scare Larson a little bit right there. Larson showing that it does not matter how tall you are, I'm still going to throw up this layup. Mm -hmm. Easy bucket for Larson. And good discipline by Griffin to not get a bad foul there. The ball is stolen, and but it looks like Seamster came down on Elliott's foot there and fell backwards, tried to give it to Elliott, ends up going out of bounds. That's just unfortunate. Very unlucky play right there by Chanute. Logan with the ball. Gets it to his brother. Logan gets into the paint easily. Eurostep hangs in the air forever. 
misses. Griffin is there to get the put back. And they're gonna call a foul on Griffin there, I believe. Griffin got up right there. It looked like from up here, I thought he was gonna slam it down. I, I thought he was too. I mean, he had his whole, he had a half of his hand over the rim right there. I thought he was gonna slam that ball down, but. Elliot, bringing it up. You'd like to see some option plays to try and get an off ball screen for that man, Jordan Duncan, to knock down a three. Seamster drives to the paint and makes the tough basket. Seamster getting double teamed right there, driving right into the middle of the paint. Goes up, tough basket right there. Defender's hands all over his face and all over the ball. It was a very tough basket right there for Seamster. Wow, and Logan just moves Elliott out of the way. Uh, less than a minute left here. This game's gone by quite quick. Elliott. Crossover, goes for a spin move, can't do anything about it, and he travels. And Griffin, even if the whistle is blown, he's not gonna let anyone get easy buckets. Chris Harding checking in for Larson Kester here. And Jalen Duncan checking in for Elliot Stevenson. We got both brothers on the court right now, Bryson. Yep. And on the other side, Coffeyville has both of their brothers on the court. I'm, I believe they are twins. I mean, they're both seniors, same last name, and both 5'11", so. 37 seconds here, it looks like Fort Scott is all right with just holding this ball for the last shot. Defense! 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 And we have Logan at the top of the key. Thirteen seconds left, and Chanu's fine with giving it to him. I mean, if you want to wait this long and possibly not even get a good shot, Logan drives to the block and just completely airmails that. And Chris Harding comes down with the rebound. Six to six at the end of this first quarter. We'll be back for the second quarter after this. Richard Cabinetry, we believe in the power of transformation. Formerly known as Hilo Industries, our journey began right here in Chanute in 1974, where this community has been our heart and soul. We stand tall as a proud member and supporter of the Chanute community. Our success is a testament to the unwavering support of the people and businesses who live and work alongside us. Bridgewood is recognized as a technological leader in the wood products manufacturing industry, pushing boundaries every day. We are a family employing 275 dedicated individuals from Chanute and the surrounding areas, working together towards a common goal. Bridgewood provides high quality cabinetry with cutting edge style to over 500 kitchen and bath cabinet design studios in 48 states. This is where community and craftsmanship unite. Join us in creating spaces where memories are born and families come together. Bridgewood Cabinetry. Simple choices, endless possibilities. Hello and welcome back to some second quarter action. Tie game 6-6. Six, six. What have you seen so far, Braylon? Both teams are playing amazing ball right now. Mm -hmm. Tough baskets have been made on both sides of the ball. Rhett really showing that he can, he's playing real good defense just like he did in the last game. I'm seeing some pretty amazing ball right here, Bryson. What are you seeing? Well, like you said, tough baskets. That has shown also how great the defense has been on both sides. Not a whole lot of buckets being made, and that's not because bad offense, but better defense. Logan with the ball. Spin move, loses the defender, throws a beautiful pass down to Griffin, who misses the layup, and there is a jump ball called. This could be Chanute's ball. I mean, that was just an incredible play there. Oh no, it's going to stay with Coffeyville. But brilliant to get to the paint in that spin move, that hanging up in the air and then throwing the pass. Threw the pass between both defenders right there, right to Griffin. Griffin did not make the layup right there. It would have been a nice, nice little play right there for, for the Coffeyville offense. Great defense by Rhett again. Rhett and Jordan tag teaming him. 
Brett trying to make a move. Makes the tough bucket again. I really applaud the refs for letting them play here, letting them play some good defense. Great defense right there by Rhett and Jordan. Jordan props the ball up, smacks it back down to Rhett. Rhett taking it for a tough, tough bucket. But it looks pretty easy for him. And Rhett just throws a ill-advised pass just right out of bounds over Chris's head. And I'm... I'm with these refs on all these calls. Although, they, although they've looked like tough buckets and they've looked like they could have been called as fouls, I believe they weren't fouls and they were just good defense. Great calls by the refs. There is something called that is gonna give the ball to Chanute. And one thing that I've noticed, Braylon, especially this is kind of wild coming from our team. I'm not sure about Coffeyville, but there's been no three-pointers made in this entire game. None at all. It's crazy because Chanu has some three-point shooters. Chris Harding, Caden Seamster, Jordan Duncan. I Nobody has really, I think the only three-point, there's two three-point shots that I've seen this whole entire game, and both of them are in the corner. One was by Jordan Duncan, and another one was by a Coffeyville player. I'm sorry, I did not catch his number, but. Well, Seamster took a couple as well. Jordan passes to his brother, Jalen. Chris being hounded by the defense. Jordan getting into the paint, throws a beautiful bounce pass into Rhett, who gives it up to Colby, misses the shot. Ball is saved, brilliant pass there. Logan tries to dribble, gets it taken away. Jordan now moving up the court quickly. Tries to give to Rhett and it's taken away. A lot, wow. lot of turnovers just happened in the last, mm -hmm. I want to say, five seconds. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Coffeyville with the smart move right there, both teams, once they stole the ball, they would just throw it right away. Now, Coffeyville on the offense just held the ball, let, let the defense, let the offense run down. It was a great, great offensive play right there. Mm -hmm. Everybody fighting for that loose ball. And it is going to be Coffeyville's ball still. I mean, that, that's just that's just so fun to watch in basketball when both teams are running up and down the court super quickly. It may lead to turnovers, but that doesn't change how fun it is to watch. Horner with the ball. And I believe we haven't seen a single substitute for Coffeyville so far. And there is a great play to get into the paint and get fouled. Griffin heading to the line. Griffin really having the height like we talked about, Bryson, but he's really not using it to his advantage right now. Right there, you see him take that easy layup, but he he missed that easy layup. Those are shots that you got to knock down, especially in the second quarter. Score 8-6. Coffeyville's down by two as Griffin makes the first one. Griffin, he looks a little sluggish. He's not moving too quick, but that doesn't that hasn't changed the fact from him being able to get some easy looks. Some, some he just rebounds. hasn't knocked him down yet. Griffin knocks down the second free throw. Game is now tied. Chris Harding with the ball. And there's some great defense being played by Logan right there to keep Chris from getting the ball and a turnover being forced. To keep Chris from being able to get rid of the ball. Elliot checks back in. And Bilby checks in. Maybe, I think Larson checked in as well. Chanute still man to man. You see Colby Baker trying to guard. Layup is just bounces all over the rim. Chris Harding with it. Bilby now gets it to Colby Baker. Bilby's in the middle of the paint, wide open. Goes for a little baby hook shot, misses. Colby is there, but can't bring down the board. It was a great shot right there by Landon Bilby. Trying to pivot around, trying to find a shot. Found the shot, just bounced around the rim a little bit. 
It was, mm -hmm. a great, it was a great play right there by Land Bilby. See, we have Griffin being guarded by Colby Baker, which is quite the mismatch, as you can see. I mean, looks like Muggsy Bogues trying to guard Shaq or something. There's a foul called, putting, that is, uh, we have Warwick Olsen now checking in for Colby Baker. Now I was watching Warwick play JV. Warwick was knocking down some tough three points. Warwick is another person that you do not want to see open. He is a War shooter. Warwick is a shooter. Let's hope that we can see that tonight from the freshman. And Warwick is also very tall, and it's not easy to contest him. He's a freshman, and he's already one of our taller players on the team. Get your red tickets ready for the Comets Hoops Cash. Elliot trying to find Larson. Gets it down to Larson, trying to capitalize on that mismatch ready. again. Larson goes for the layup, misses. Now, Coffeyville moving up this court very quickly. And Griffin is fouled and one. He's heading to the line. As I believe that might be their first lead since the beginning of the game. Griffin Adamson to the line to shoot one. Two points are good. Griffin Adamson shooting one. A violation is called on Griffin there. Elliot. Looks like they've, no, nope. I thought they switched to the zone. It just was kind of funky looking. They didn't know who they were picking up. Larson, pump fakes, throws a pass into Bilby. Bilby's hounded, can't find anyone. Tries to get it to uh, Warwick, I believe. Turns it over, Bilby gets, the ball is stolen. A lot of stuff going on, travel is called. That's one of those, once again, we saw three turnovers and it was a great three look. Seconds. It was a great look by Larson. Mm -hmm. Bilby was not paying attention to Larson at all. Didn't realize that the ball was coming to him until it bounced right in front of him. Came off the hand, weird Seems turnover. Seems to checks back in for Landon Bilby. Larson being a pest. Calling Pat Bev. He fouls. Now that is going to send, send Garrett Vanister to the line here. First free throw is missed. Is that another lane violation? That is another lane violation by Coffeyville. Again, Thomas, boots for cash. Winning tickets, number 521. Three five, minutes two, left. Two. Larson making a quick play down the court. Gets fouled. And Griffin sends that block back into the cafeteria. Larson's going to go to the line. He looks a little, little hurt in his left knee there. A little banged He's not up. going to the line. First foul. As you can see here, I don't. Kind of comes down on the leg a little weird right there. He's looking good though. Larson gets right back into the paint. Warwick, or that's Elliott in the corner. Off the rim. No one able to grab the rebound. And Logan gets the easy layup. Ball was loose a little there right there. Logan just getting the easy layup. A little nice, little nice fast break right there by Coffeyville. As Warwick is wide open, he does not shoot it. Seamster has a advantage there. They don't want to capitalize on it right now. Ball's being moved around. Elliot, or not Elliot, Seam, not Seamster. Larson almost gets it there, but it is turned over. And Logan trying to get another bucket, throws it to number 11 in the corner. Shot is off. 
Chris grabs it, and he's heading down the court quickly. And Chris gets fouled. That is going to be on the baseline. Chanute's ball still. Chris moving a little too quick right there. Getting Caulfield, def Ca yeah, getting bumped. Caulfield defender comes up behind him, trying to steal. Ca causes the foul. It was a good. It was a good foul. It was good foul. Chanute's way because Chris. Chris was losing the ball right there, going a little too quick. Good foul right there. Don't know what we're waiting for here, but waiting for something. I mean, just look at. Caden Seamster is getting stared down right there. Elliott gets it on the low block, goes up for the layup, misses, but gets his, almost gets his own board. There's another one of those short layups that we've missed. And there's a beautiful play there by Caden Seamster to jump in front, get his feet set, and draw the foul. Caden Seamster always takes those charges. If you guys have watched past games, it's always Caden Seamster getting those charges. And he's, that he's, is a great player right there. And he's used to getting hit. He was our best wide receiver for the past two years here in football. It's a great play. Gives it up for the team. And now Seamster has it. Bumps the bigger defender and travels. Nope, doesn't travel. He's, there's a push called. And they're going to call that on the ground, so he's going to shoot two free throws here. I mean, he's, he moved Griffin out of the way. That takes some force. Coffeeville ref does not really agree with that. Or Coffeeville. Coach. Coach doesn't, is talking to the ref right now. Seamster knocks down the first. One thing that I've seen this year is Seamster has gotten exceptionally better at the free throw line. As you see right there, he moves Griffin out of the way, goes up and draws a foul. He misses the second free throw. Great play right there by Caden. Logan. And another charge called. Seamster gives his body up once again. Looking to capitalize on these turnovers caused by Jordan Duncan has a wide open opportunity for three. Misses. Elliott's right there to get the board. Takes a dribble, kicks it out to Seamster for three. Misses again. Eventually those shots will fall and the points will add up. We've seen the Chanute team not come not come too hot off the three points in the beginning of the half of the halves. First quarter, second quarter, they bang a couple threes. Now third quarter and fourth quarter is where Chanute really starts hitting those three points. Let's hope we can see that tonight. And another layup is missed there. Number 11 in the corner. The ball is tipped so he doesn't get the easy opportunity at the three-pointer. Logan now with it. Forty-four seconds left. They might try to hold this again. I mean, I'm sure you could go for a two-for-one opportunity, but with no shot clock, there's no point, really. And there's another charge called. Chanute really getting these wow. charges. Caden Seamster has gotten two charge calls. That's a, that's a it, it's just a great call. It's a great way to show Jaylen that you're not only one. you're not only here for you, you're here for the team. And Chanute is going to take a timeout, and we're going to take that timeout with you. We'll be back for this last 32 seconds after this. House is dedicated to high school and college students. Our mission is for every student in Southeast Kansas to know they have value, they are loved, and that they have a place. We are not a church, but we are motivated by the love God has for all of us. The Fire Escape opened in 1998 and is open every Friday and Saturday night for high school and college age students. During the week, the Fire Escape is open to the public Tuesday through Friday mornings for coffee, ketchups, or small groups like Bible studies. The Fire Escape Coffee House is proud to partner with the Schnute High School Tech Classes. Hello and welcome back for this last 30 seconds of the first half. And in the past, I would say probably minute and a half, there's been three charges drawn by our Chanute Blue Comets. Two coming from Caden Seamster, one just now coming from Jordan Duncan. 
they're just they're just showing that they're not here for them. They're here for this whole team putting the body on the line. Mm -hmm. That's a great player right there. You love to see it. That looks like Chanute is fine with holding for this last shot. It's been quite a low scoring game here. Eleven seconds. Seems they're wide open. Waits for Griffin to jump and lays it over him. Great heads up play there by Seamster to not get blocked. There's a travel, should have been called, not. And then great defense played again. Wow, what a way to end that first half. Chanute up by, or Chanute down by one now, heading into the second half. And we'll be back for that second half action. See you then. Cut, beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Tell me about your vision. At the end of the day, it's your classic coming of age story. Can I need more shipping labels? All the gig speed, fiber fueled internet you need to take whatever and make it big. Sparklight Internet, a stronger connection. KFEX 93.1 FM and Comet Vision are excited to partner with Dr. Grant Gastineau. Dr. Gastineau graduated from Chanute High School and is committed to supporting the activities of the youth of Chanute. Thank you, Dr. Gastineau. We appreciate your support. Got 30 seconds to make a layup. Five books for a layup. Then he's got a free throw for 10 bucks and a three pointer for 15. 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Cherry guys. Go, John. Go. Got his free throw.
Hello and welcome back to this second half. We have a 12 to 11 game. Great defensive performance on both sides here tonight. And we have a fun game ahead of us. The start of the second half. Great defense being played on both sides. We're looking for some shots to start falling and the lead to start going. You ready, Braylon? I'm ready for this, ready for this third quarter, the second half gameplay. Cockerville versus Chanute right now. Low scoring game, Bryson, 12 to 11 right now. The, you normally do not see this, but with this, with the gameplay, with the offense that both, with both teams are running, with the defense, it's just, it's all good. The defense is really going crazy right now on both sides. So what you like to see? Mm -hmm. We have quite a lot of students in the student section right now cheering on our blue comments. One of them just fell off of the stage. What is happening right now? I have no idea what is going on. We've tried to pass the ball in two times now. Game is finally going here. Elliott with the ball. Gets it out in the seam, so he's got big Griffin on him. Peter. Low. <laughs> Elliott gets the ball, gives it to Rhett. Looking to find our shot. Rhett wide open in the paint. Now he's got three people on him. Gets blocked by a man who didn't even jump. That's Griffin that's really, tough. really, I mean, him putting his arms up well near the rim. He's almost standing in Duncan. Mm -hmm. It was a great block. Great play right there by Chanute. But, I mean, Beautiful. there's nothing There's nothing you can really do when you got somebody that's 6'7 standing in that paint. Incredible Euro step there by oh. Xavier Logan to get free and knock down the layup. Rhett throws a great pass, swung around, back to Rhett in the post, to Larson, fakes the shot, gets in, back to Rhett in the corner, mishandles the pass, drives right past Griffin, puts up the floater and hits good. It's great, great play right there by Rhett Smith. Rhett Smith fumbling the ball around, going to pump fake still, going around the defender, throwing up that layup. That was a beautiful play right there mm -hmm. by Rhett Smith. There's a foul called on either Elliot or Larson. Couldn't really see there. It's on Elliot. His first. Someone who has played great tonight is Rhett Smith. He has four points, but that doesn't even account for the like several blocks and several steals that he has. Shot is way off. Elliott moving down quickly. Gets it to Rhett. Doesn't shoot the three. Throws a pass to Seamster. And a blocking foul is called. They are on Xavier Logan. His third personal foul. And he was signaling over to his bench, like, Coach, I got this. Let me stay in. I will play more discipline. Well, ball being moved around. There's Rhett again. Misses the layup. Moving down the court now. Kind of had a four on... Yeah, four on five opportunity there, and the reverse layup is butter by Jamarion Logan. It was a great play by Logan right there, going around the defender with the reverse. That was a pretty nasty play right there. It was a great bucket. I love to see it. You ever seen the uh, Julius Irving reverse layup? That's the one impressive. that started it all. Yeah. There's another floater by. Is that a travel? It's got to be a travel. No. Nope. Nope. Calling a foul on Rhett there. A little hit on the head action right there. Hit him harder next time. I'm just kidding. 
We don't support violence over here at CHS. Coffeeville back with the ball. Goes into the paint, kicks it back out. So it's vibrant shoes are very cool to look at. I think Seamster has the exact same shoes. There's a turnover by Coffeeville. And the turnover have been quite even so far. Coffeeville now that's their ninth. Chanute has eight. And there's been zero three-pointers made in this entire game on either side. You'd like to see Jordan Duncan. There's a foul. Hold on, Rhett Smith. I believe an illegal screen. Now, Bryson, we have talked about this Chanute team in the third quarter. This is when they start slugging off, not playing so well. Mm -hmm. We can kind of see this right now. Let's hope that they can get in the right mindset and There's keep a on jump pushing. Shot hit by Xavier Logan. He has eight now on the night. Seamster with it. Gets it down into Rhett. Beautiful pass. Goes pump fakes. Defender doesn't jump. Decides just to go over him. It was a great little pass right there from Caden to Larson going over the defender. Pump faking. Larson's getting up that easy layup. There's a blocking foul called on Larson. Jamarian gets the layup on the inbound. Seems to have it, puts up the three pointer, misses it again. We can, nobody can knock down threes tonight. Down by five here. We have looked quite, quite poor here in this third quarter. There is a jump line fadeaway knocked down by Horner. Horner, sorry. I mean, it, we were down three going into the first, no, down one going into the first half. Now the lead is up to seven for uh, Coffeeville. There is a full timeout called by Schnu as Larson looked like he was going to pass it, but ended up going off of the backboard. We're going to take a timeout with you. We'll be back after this. Located at 103 East Main in downtown Chanute is a small town pharmacy and gift store which includes an old fashioned soda fountain. They specialize in compounds and vaccines. They also supply many types of medical items. Cardinal Drug Store is your one stop shop for all of your health care needs. KFEX and Comet Vision are so grateful for your support. From kickoff to the final lap, from Pee Wees to the weekend pros. Our team of doctors can help with the diagnosis and treatment of sports-related injuries. Wherever you are in your sports journey, Labette Health Sports Medicine team has the training, experience, and skill to repair, restore, and renew. For more information about Southeast Kansas' leading orthopedic and sports medicine program, go to LabetteHealth.com. Welcome back to Chanute, third quarter Three minutes and 15 seconds left in this third quarter right now. Coffeyville is inbounding the ball. It's 22-15. Coffeyville has a seven-point lead right now. Bryson, what has Chanute got to do to get back in this game? I mean, the defense has been not great, and the offense has been worse. We need to start knocking down shots and getting back to what we were doing at the beginning of this game. Corner. 
there's a foul called on Jake Horner. Brett Smith now has it. Gets it to Chris Harding. Seamster goes into the paint, gets fouled. It'll be on the baseline. Second personal foul. Chris Harding has a wide open look at a three pointer. There he we go. Down. That's a momentum right here that this Chanute team needs. Indeed. That three point right there. That was a nice shot right there by Chris Harding. Knocks it down to a four point game. Ball's being moved around the paint. You can see this, ener this newfound energy from the fans and from the team after that three-pointer was knocked down. Chris now, chase down block, knocks it out of bounds, great play. Great play right there by Chris. The defender did get around him, but Chris was not letting him get that easy bucket. Great block right there. Still playing good defense. That's Griffin with the ball. Gets trapped by three players. Kicks out of the corner. Logan trying to find something to do, and there's a, play, a turnover by Coffeyville. That's their tenth tonight. Seamster gets a deep three by Jordan Duncan, and he's off. Four point game still. Now we've seen this type of gameplay from Jordan before. Jordan, in, in the Iola game, Jordan did not make many three points first, second, or third quarter. Fourth quarter, Jordan had 12 points in the comeback. Jordan came in clutch. Let's see if he can pull that mm -hmm. off tonight. It just takes one shot before Seamster has it in the corner. And off the rim, but it just takes one shot for Jordan to get hot and start knocking a lot more down. That's gonna, that foul right there on Larson is his third, and that's going to send number 11, Keyshawn Hayes, to the line. Six point game now. Both those free throws are missed. But they get their own rebound. Swung to the corner. 11 shoots the three, air ball. Swatted out of bounds. Now it is Schnoot's ball. Looks like they're, a press is gonna be thrown on by Coffeyville. I think the clock was messed up. It's going to be Chanute ball. They just got to fix that. 53 seconds left. Chanute down six. A, a shot here to cut the lead down going into this uh, fourth quarter would be huge as Chris gets to the paint and travels. 45 seconds left. Coffeeville has the ball. Griffin with it in the paint. To back to Logan. Great ball movement there to get the wide open layup. It's missed, but Griffin comes back for the putback layup. Right there, number, number 11, Keyshawn Hayes finding that 
cut right there. And then Griffin with the missed layup. Griffin rebounds that put back. Seamster is now going to head to the line, looking to cut into this deficit. Made one, missed one there. And the three pointer is off. And the putback is, uh, it's made, but it isn't shot. It didn't get off his hands in time. Uh, we're going to take time out. We're, we're going to take a break with you. We'll be back. Sparklight is unveiling unlimited internet for just $25 a month. Get reliable 100 meg internet for just $25 a month for 12 months with unlimited data. That's unlimited internet. Call 877-469-3057 or visit sparklight.com slash savings. Sparklight, a new breed and high speed. Home Savings Bank is a platinum underwriter here at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Home Savings Bank has been serving the Chanute area since 1886. Customer owned and customer driven, Home Savings Bank located at 214 North Lincoln Avenue in Chanute, Kansas is here to serve all your banking needs. Whether your needs are checking, savings account, safety deposit box, lending, or online banking, Home Savings Bank is here to help. Home Savings Bank is located on the internet at homesavingschanute.com. Home Savings Bank is committed to the youth of Southeast Kansas and helping the ministries at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Here we are back in the fourth quarter 26-19, Coffeeville has the lead right now. We're looking, Chanute could possibly come back from, from this lead. Let's hope that we can see that and get a good games on our hand. What do you think, Bryson? I think once the Chanute really needs to get the three ball to start falling. We've taken several, only made one. Once that starts falling, that lead will get destroyed, honestly. Coffeeville now moving the ball. They might try to waste some clock with their possessions because they obviously no shot clock. I've said it every string here, but Griffin drop step, goes to the floater, misses. Ball is all over the place. Harden comes down with the ball. Chris Harden has the three pump fakes, makes him jump. Elliott gets it down in the post to Jordan. Jordan puts up the post shot. Not something you see him do, but he can get it done down there. Great little ball movement right there. Elliott finding Jordan. Perfect pass by Elliott right there. Nice layup right there by Jordan Duncan. You don't really see much of him in the paint. That's there cool. There's Brett Smith right there with another steal. Elliott makes a little crossover, has it in the corner. Goes baseline, puts up a layup and brings it down. That is what Chanu has needed, that steal. This is the momentum that the Chanu team needs. Mm -hmm. That steal, phenomenal. Getting the ball into Elliott. He, get, he goes into the corner, acts like he's gonna just reset the offense, and then hits a incredible baseline drive and makes the layup. That was a great play. His El first points of the night. Elliott Stevenson is a big physical player on the Chanu team. You love to see it, Bryson. Mm -hmm. Now with, with this little momentum that Chanute just got, do you think Chanute will come back from this, I, I believe they definitely can. It is only a three-point game, and both teams fighting very hard, playing great defense, playing great offense. This is going to be a fun game coming down to the end. Chanu is on defense here. Rhett is still in the game. Look for him to get some steals. He's always done that. And it looks like we're in a zone here now. Zone trap defense, trapping up the top of the key, almost had him. And Jalen is also a great defender up there. Yes, we've talked about this before. Jalen and Jordan are two complete different people when it comes to basketball. Jalen is all defense. 
Jordan can play defense, but offense is his specialty. Jalen picking him up. Goes to the paint. Elliott with a good contest. Rhett with the rebound. Moving quickly, gets it to Jordan in the corner. Jordan kicks it to Chris, just trying to reset the offense here. Gets it to Rhett. Now Elliott has it. Offense is now completely reset. As you can see on the low block right here, Jordan Duncan is gonna try to pop out for a three. He gets the opportunity, he shoots it. And Rhett goes, good drop step, goes for the shot. Or actually passes it, gives it to Elliott. Elliott goes up, gets fouled, he's heading to the line. Wow. I mean, I was kind of like Tony Romo right there. Called the play before it even happened. It was a great little pop-up. Like you said, Bryson, that was going to happen. Great little pop-up. Came off the front of the rim right to Rhett. Rhett drives it, pump fakes, kicks it to Elliott. Elliott drawing the foul. Great play right there by Chanel. Elliott misses the first. Not someone you see miss a lot of free throws. Elliott is one of, if not the, and I'd probably argue the best free throw shooter on the team. Maybe along with Jalen, or maybe along with Jordan, but Jordan doesn't get to the line quite as much as Elliott does. Elliott shoots off front rim, and Chris gets the ball in the corner, and there Jordan Duncan is. Misses again, you know. And there it is, hits, and there's a foul called. It is Comet's ball. Now, Bryson, this is the plays that Jordan Duncan is known mm -hmm. for, is getting the shot off on these inbounds. Do you think they will look for him? Uh, no, I think they look for Chris, I guess. He gets it. <laughs> And there is Rhett Smith, none other than the man who has. He's injured. That's not something like to see. He's been so important all night. It looks bad. And he hurts his knee coming down on that. Rhett Smith has been a key player to this game. Mm -hmm. He's played both sides. He's played good both sides of the ball. As you can see right there, put the, put the layup back for the made shot. He, mm -hmm. Rhett's also had a multiple multiple steals this game multiple rebounds you hate to see this let's hope he's all right mm -hmm. Rhett over there is grabbing on his ankle so it was his ankle not his knee i believe scary scary scenes here and he's trapped there's not much he could do ball's almost thrown away jordan gets the steal he's moving up the court quickly stops in the paint throws it out to his brother and the offense is reset now, Bryson, this is something that we rarely see. We have two freshmen right now on the court, Jalen Duncan and Warwick Olsen. Mm -hmm. Warwick, like I said earlier, is the shooter. He is, he's that guy that you want open on the Chanute team. Jalen now, Elliott wide open, does not want to take it. Shinoot is going to look for the best shot available. Putting a little boogie on, and there is a foul called. Sending, is he going to be to the line maybe? Nope, it's going to be uh, out of bounds. You see Chris Harden getting very shifty right there, making his way to the basket quickly. We have Larson checking in for Jordan Duncan. And that is a big foul right there. That is number four for Garrett Van Oster. Elliot now has it at the top of the key. And there is an illegal screen called on Larson. Fourth foul, Lawrence Custer. Rhett is back and walking right now, going to the bench. He is all right. This is what you like to see. The Shinu mm -hmm. team really needs him right now. Yeah. He's going to take a seat for a little while, though. I don't, I don't know if we'll see him back in the game, but we really hope we do. We really hope we do, Bryson. There's a timeout called by Coffeeville. We're going to take a break with you. We'll be back for the last half of this fourth quarter. Missing that human touch at your bank? At Community National Bank and Trust, you'll be able to talk with a real person. 
Community National Bank is small enough to know you, yet big enough to offer the best products. Your busy lifestyle requires banking options like mobile deposit and people-to-people pay. With locations in Southeast Kansas and Southwest Missouri, Community National Bank and Trust can help keep your finances safe and your spending smarter. Online at mybankcnb.com. Community National Bank and Trust. Federally insured. Locally awesome. Member KFEX Firescape Radio programming is made possible in part by the underwriting efforts of Sonic Drive-In of Chanute. Sonic Drive-In of Chanute does not consider community involvement a sales gimmick or a public relations ploy. They see it as a way to be a good neighbor and as a way to have a positive impact on their community. It is for these reasons that Sonic Drive-In of Chanute is a proud underwriter of KFEX Firescape Radio and the ministry efforts of the entire Firescape ministry to the youth of Chanute. Welcome back to Chanute. Four minutes and six seconds left in this fourth quarter right, fourth quarter right now. Chanute's only down by one. This Chanute was down by seven in the beginning of this fourth quarter. This is what you like to see. This indeed, is basketball. Indeed. This is basketball. Great quote there. And it looks like Coffeeville is fine with wasting clock here. And very shifty is Jazir. And he tries to, and Warwick comes down, almost travels because just his momentum was falling backwards. He tries to throw it to Elliott, and it is punched out of bounds by a Coffeeville player. Chris Harding with the ball being hounded by number three there, Jamarion. Larson gets into the paint, gets fouled, but they're gonna call it on the floor. He's gonna shoot, or he's gonna, he's gonna be the one passing it in here. Elliot shoots the three. So there we go. Let's go, Elliot. Something I would love to see him do more often because he is a shooter. Knocks that down. He is now at five points. The lead is back in the hands of Chanute. You love to see it. This crowd is electric right now. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a big mood switch right here. Mm -hmm. Everybody's hyped up to the cheerleaders, to the people that are in the commons getting getting snacks. Everybody's hyped up right now at the in Chanute. Mm -hmm. The whole building is vibrating right now. Larson has got taken to the ground. I hope he's all right there. Looks to be fine. Beautiful in the air pass. Almost goes right to him. It was a 15 Horner misses, but there's Griffin to get it. And he's throwing elbows. And there's a foul call. I'm not sure on who. I mean. Elliot took an elbow to the eye right there. That's, I mean, that's just really in my opinion, kind of dirty right there. It looks like an offensive foul. I mean, he was really throwing those elbows. Yeah. But now Elliot's like, you just elbowed me in the face. I don't care. I'm picking you up, buddy. Buddy. Now, Chris Harding playing the defense. There's a foul called on 33. That's, or no, on Elliot for pushing, I believe. I mean, he got elbowed in the face. A push is... I guess a push is worse than the elbow in the face, Bryson. Yeah, and there's a layup made to tie the game. That's Xavier Logan. He has 10 now. I feel like Elliott's going to be coming for vengeance. I mean, you can just see the focus in his eyes right now. He sets that screen, moves to the paint. Chris Harding off the, off the screen, knocks down the three-pointer, and he is letting them know about it. He knocks down the three, pushes our lead back up to three. There's a full timeout taken. We'll be back for the last two minutes of this fourth quarter. It's about to get exciting. We'll be there. 
Whether you're completing home repairs, weekend projects, or planning your garden for spring, Cleaver Farm and Home 2103 South Santa Fe has a carefully selected inventory for all of your paint, hardware, and building needs. Cleaver's also offers free delivery for cat and dog food if ordered online at www.cleaverfarm.com. Cleaver's supports the youth outreach of the Firescape Youth Ministry and is happy to underwrite KFEX Radio. Thank you, Cleaver family. We appreciate your support. For years, Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has been providing quality financial guidance to local individuals and businesses. Their expertise ranges from basic tax management and accounting services to more in-depth services such as audits, financial statements, QuickBooks support, and payroll. Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has backed Chanute's youth in all their endeavors from the classroom to extracurricular activities. They're proud to help support the youth of Chanute by underwriting this KFEX broadcast. Welcome back to the fourth quarter. After that amazing three right there by Chris Harding. 31-28, two minutes and 23 seconds left in the, fir- in the fourth quarter. This is pretty good basketball we're watching right here, Bryson. Very aggressive defense being played by Chanute, very quick. Not letting them get any inch of space. I mean, this offense seems a little too slow for when you're losing. And there's great defense by Elliott. Jalen moving it up. Can't get the pass down to Elliott. Jalen in the corner to Warwick. Warwick lets it fly, and he misses. Now, Coffeyville has the ball again. Horner with the ball, they're resetting the offense. This Chanute defense is really hyped up right now. They're hustling to everything right now. This is great defense played right by Chanute right now. A minute 30 left, this is huge. This one possession, they get down into the paint and they call a foul on Warwick. And it looks like that is number 10, Aaron Tunstall, who's going to go to the line. Warwick. Looks like we're gonna have Jordan Duncan check back in. Warwick, knowing that that foul was really bad, considering that it is a three-point game, if he was to hit this next free throw, it will only be a one-point game. Warwick checks out great minutes from the freshman tonight. Warwick, Warwick is a young player. He is still, he's a freshman playing varsity, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just put it like that. He's young. Has, he has so much to learn still. Both free throws are knocked down. It is a one point game, minute 30 left. Elliott just flying right by the defender, makes an acrobatic layup to push the lead back to three. Elliott is having him a game tonight. Elliott really stepping up after Rhett went out. This is what you like to see. You like to see somebody else stepping up right there. You always gotta have that next man up mentality. One man goes out or one man's having a bad game. Someone has got to be there to pick it up to win the entire game. Xavier does not shoot the three. Horner in the corner. Rims around, and the layup is missed. Ellie comes down with it, 48 seconds left. He's trying to move around. He is a track star, ladies and gentlemen. And there is Larson with the ball. You're expecting a foul here, so you get it into the hands of your best free throw shooter. 30 seconds left, no shot clock, remember. there's. 30 seconds left, three point game. Ball in the hands of Elliott, he's gonna waste some clock. And there's a foul called on Elliott's injury. 33 and he is hurt, I mean that was. That was really intentional right there. That was a shove. Griffin coming up, trying to foul, shoved him to the ground and there's the technical. You have everyone in the crowd Excited to hear it. Well-deserved technical. I mean, that's not his first shot on Elliott all night. That is not the first. That is not the first dirty shot that we have seen earlier. He did elbow mm-hmm. Elliott right in the face. But that 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 could have been less intentional. But this that that one, there's no denying that it that was just shoved him. And Elliott makes there the free throw. There we go. Elliott stepped up in a big way tonight. Griffin with that int- intentional little foul, as you, you can see right here, he comes up and just shoves just Elliott right to the ground. Shoves him to the ground. And did he make that one on an 
Elliott could could seal the game. Could have just sealed the game for Chanute right there. Griffin really messing up on the intentional foul. And we're gonna stay here with you for this break that we have. There's 22 seconds left. Chanute is now up by four, which is more than one possession. And I'm not quite sure, but I believe with a technical foul, Chanute gets the ball. So we're that. gonna be looking to get this ball back in the hands of Elliott, maybe even Larson so that we have a good chance to knock down these intentional foul free throws. This is not something you want to see right now if you are Coffeeville. Getting that technical foul right there and Elliott making the free throw, that's not a good thing. Especially now that you're down by four, you were down by three. It's a two possession game here, ladies and gentlemen. 22 seconds left. If this doesn't get you out of your seat, I don't know what will. This has been a fun game. Everyone is nervous and excited at the same time. It's a four point game. Anything really can happen in these last 30 seconds. Chanute has just got to get something done. A bunched at the, at the, at the sideline. Jalen Duncan passing it in, looking to find someone. Tries to get it to Seamster, but it is knocked out of bounds by Jamarion Logan. And now Chanute is passing it in once again. The pass was just a little soft, didn't have the zip on it and needed. Knocked out of bounds. Larson has it. He gets fouled and he's heading to the line. Larson is a very solid free throw shooter. Right now. And you'd expect to, I don't, this, it's just rough having that two of your best defenders, on ball defenders on the entire team, have both gone out with injuries tonight. That being Elliott and Rhett. You would love to see them be able to be checked back in for this defensive possession, but that's just not how the cards have gone tonight. As Larson knocks down the first huge free throw. It is now a five point game. This free throw is huge. Can push it to six points. He misses it, but that also gives them less time to get a play drawn up. It's 15 seconds left. Jazavier doesn't have the shot he wants. Goes to the corner, tries to shoot it, and they call a foul. Number two. I don't. Not sure what's happening. I think they might have called the foul off. Logan was pointing at the clock, showing that the clock was running after they called the foul right there. They could be mm. calling off the foul right here, right now. Seven point eight seconds left. Those for if if this is a free if this is like a free throw shooting occurrence, these can be huge. Not sure what's happening. No, everybody really confused. I'm not really sure what's happening. They called a foul on. Um, I'm not quite sure here. Yeah, no. Okay, so Braylon, if you are Coffeeville, what are you trying to do right here? It's got to be a quick three, right? It's got to be a quick three. As you can see in that last play, that last offensive play that Coffeeville had, he drove right to the corner and just tried chucking up that shot. Both defenders coming down, blocking that. He, he needs to get this three point. If I'm Coffeeville, I'm, chug I'm chugging up a quick three mm -hmm. off rip. You've got to draw. Then you got to get that full court press. Mm -hmm. Got to poke that ball, and then you, mm -hmm. you got to pray a miracle. You have to drop a play for your best shooter. I believe it is going to be on the baseline. I'm not quite sure here. No, it is going to be free throws. So he is going to be shooting. I'm not sure if it's. It is three free throws. He's going to be shooting three. These are monumental to the outcome of this game. Xavier Logan has had 10 on the night. 
shooting three free throws. He knocks down the first. You can, I, I'm sure you can hear it through our crowd mic here, but as soon as he starts his free throw motion, it gets loud. And he misses the second, that's big. That's big, that means he can only cut it down to a three point lead. A lot of pressure mm -hmm. on Logan right now. If he misses this free throw, the game very well could be over. And he misses, and there's Chris Harding to get the board. Gets it to, to Larson, and they're just gonna be able to dribble the clock out, and Chanu has come home with a victory tonight. Great plays by Elliott and Rhett. They were the two MVPs in my opinion. You'll love to see it. That's another win for the Chanu Comets, and we'll see you on the next game.